this actually went really, really smooth. I'm really proud of my boys. Good morning, beautiful people. All right, if you found this video, this is the beginning of the build series. As you can see behind me, there is already some concrete in the ground. I'm Ben. Uh, my wife is Meg. We're the Holler Homestead. We are building an addition to this mobile home right here. We are doubling our square footage. This is going to be a really cool build. Super excited. At this point, we're about a week in and we've, we've gotten our foundation going on. Uh, next, we move on to framing and all that good stuff. This is the first week. We're going to try to film this series in, you know, like week increments. That way you guys can see a little bit more of the process rather than watching single day-to-day -day videos that doesn't show a lot of progress. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this build series. We'll, uh, we'll keep them coming. Uh, I, I know I am super excited to continue building this. Hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Here it is. All right, so I need to mix some, some concrete up and I'm walking down here. I'm gonna check out my concrete mixer that I, I've had for a couple years. I bought it at our, our favorite junk shop and I, I've used it once. I'm going to plug it in, check it out. I came down here and tried to mess with it yesterday, like last night, and it wasn't really working. So I'm gonna see if I can get this old thing working and uh, we'll go from there. So that's the beast right there, really old. I should probably replace the power cord. It's looking kind of rotted. Uh, I got it plugged in. I ran an extension cord out here a little bit ago just because it doesn't have like an on off switch. So I'll show you what it's doing. I got this plugged in so I can use this little power strip as an on off switch. Yeah, so it tries to turn, it's just not turning. I'm gonna pull the cover off the belt and see what's going on. Wow. That is a lot. That's like of... everything. Here, hold on. Let me get this other thing off so I can get this other way. There's gotta be like some black wood in there. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, I'll show you why this thing, like the motor turns on, but nothing happens. That might be your problem. That might be your problem. So there's, you know, what's left of a wasp nest. All smashed now. And then that is a mud dauber. Well, that's really on there good. Sorry, dirt daubers, you're gonna have to find a new home. Let me see if this will work. Hey, hey! Back in business. It works. I guess we will, uh, I'll go get the tractor and carry this up there because it's pretty heavy. It's very old and uh, pretty heavy. I was really hoping that I could just come out here, grab it, and do work with it. Just had to clear some mud daubers out of there. Ha! <laughs> 
got the cement mixer up here. I'm gonna plug it in and uh, mix up. I think I only have 10 bags of concrete and that was all I grabbed the other day when I was at uh, the blue store. We're gonna pour as much concrete as we can today. Uh, if you guys can see all that lovely gray stuff, we got uh, rain in the forecast. So I'm gonna try to get all this done, get as much concrete poured as we've got. And uh, if we get rained out, oh well. So, I'm gonna get busy. There's gonna be the people who know concrete and that are gonna cringe, but it'll be all right. And that one was a little bit better. We uh, weren't sure how many bags it was gonna take per form. It was about four bags. I can only do about really one bag at a time in that thing. So it's taking some learning. I think I'm understanding why that was at the, uh, the second hand place. It misses a lot of concrete. I can do a better job with a hoe and a wheelbarrow. I don't know, that may, go up for sale after this project. But we got two in. It's gonna take four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. I think I have 28 piers. So yeah, it's gonna be a bunch. So I have another trip to Lowe's. I'm gonna wait until these are a little set up so I can you know, smooth them out. Cause if I leave, they'll set up and be too hard to work by the time I get back. Hi, Millie Cat. I'm surprised you haven't walked all over this yet. Molly. Hey, you want to put your handprint in the concrete? Yeah. Come here. Come here. What? Is it dry? Let me set your water down. No, it's still wet. And we'll have to wash your hand. Take it down. Put them right here. One hand there, one hand here. Nope, like this. That. And then right next to it. Other <laughs> hand. Other hand. Wow. Right there. Okay, flat. Flat. Move. Flatten your hand out. Yep. Put your thumb. Yep. There you go. Okay. Mommy's in the way. <laughs> yep. Handprint. Let's wash your hands. You did. Dad, could I make a footprint? No. People even like, where be like, what? What did Buggy do on this concrete? She put handprints on it. No, he. Move. Don't think about it. We're about halfway. We are stopping and taking lunch. Easy going up top. Down here, I've done one hole in the time it's taken everybody to do two. That's murder with all those roots. But we're almost done.
I figured in the middle of this, I might as well give an update, talk about what we got going on. There's a whole bunch of time lapse in this video and this would be a good spot to explain what we're doing. Uh, we are nearly done setting up the forms. We've got three more holes that we gotta open up, put the box in and level, uh, which reminds me, I gotta walk over here and grab my tool belt because it's got all the jobs, I, all the tools I need to get the job done. Once we get these last three boxes set, uh, we're gonna start pouring concrete. We're just doing bagged concrete and a mixer. You probably remember a video from last week talking about uh, how lackluster this concrete mixer performs, but I'm gonna give it another shot. It's going good. Last week, I got two of these done. All I had was like 10 bags of concrete that I'd thrown in the truck last time I was at Lowe's. I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need per hole. Again, the last time I was at Lowe's, I picked up a pallet of concrete. I think I did that Sunday. Don't think a pallet of concrete, I think it's 56 bags. I don't think it's enough to finish this, but we're gonna go as far as we can go with it. We're nearly done with this portion. Uh, as we get closer to being done with this portion, probably what we'll do is we'll pour the concrete. We're gonna backfill what we need to backfill. But before we finish up all that, because you know, I'm not gonna leave piles of dirt from digging out these holes. Probably what we'll do is we'll get our piles that we're doing. That'll be like a pallet of block. We'll get that set, get everything level. Basically the foundation will be ready. We'll clear the dirt out of here. We'll grade it. We'll get the rocks and the, the roots that we've chopped out. We'll get all of that out of here and then put plastic down. Probably, don't quote me on that. The idea is we could put the plastic down now, but in the grand scheme of things, I might not want it all covered in sawdust and everything else that's gonna be everywhere. Maybe not. We might wait until we actually have the structure uh, and we're doing, you know, the rest of the stuff, like uh, the flooring and decking. All right, let me go grab my tools and we'll get over here. I'll keep leveling boxes. I just thought I'd give you guys an update of where we're at. It's coming along. We're almost there. Slow going with all these roots. We are finally done, uh, now that it's just about lunchtime. Uh, all of the boxes are in, everything is ready for concrete. Uh, the boys even plowed a path so we can get the wheelbarrow through here. I was debating just moving the concrete mixer and mixing right above the hole and just turning and dumping it, but I don't feel like dragging out more extension cord and stuff like that. That's why they have wheelbarrows and wagons with wheels. All right, go ahead, open it up. All right, don't open it too much in case we have to cover it all back up. Actually, never mind. We'll burn through this quick. Concrete's one of those things, once you get going, it uh, it goes pretty quick, especially if you got a system down. I'm gonna be mixing, they're gonna be hauling, and I'm probably gonna have two of them uh, going from the mixer to dumping in the holes.
All right, we got six. We actually have something to do this evening, so we are gonna go do that. So we all gotta go inside and wash the concrete off and get cleaned up. But tomorrow we get to come out here and do nothing but concrete, which is fun. I think uh, once we started working out the kinks, uh, it's sort of going pretty smooth, but it's exciting. We got mud in the hole. We are good to go. I'm gonna go wash the uh, concrete off of me before uh, I can't, and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. noisy beast warms up we ran out of concrete that was 2,000 pounds of concrete we've used so far and it's nearly another pallet that we need I knew that but I didn't have the room to grab two pallets uh, last time I was at Lowe's so it is only noon o'clock we're doing great so I'm gonna run to Lowe's right now grab one more pallet and then we'll get back to it. I might even pick up some block this trip. It really depends on who's driving the forklift and if they'll work with me. Some Sometimes they don't really feel like, you know, maneuvering stuff around. They're like, I got it on your trailer, you're on your own. We'll see how that goes. Maybe picking up block. I may save that for, I don't know, tomorrow's trip. I gotta get the trailer cleaned off, get the trailer hooked up, and uh, then I guess I'll head off to Lowe's. This best turn out a little bit drier. All right, back from Lowe's. Got all my materials. We are back at it. We're changing places. The older boys are hauling concrete. The younger two are mixing. I think everybody's having a good time. They told me the other day, especially the youngest one right there, he told me he's been waiting and waiting and waiting for the concrete. Uh, he's like having the time of his life. He's living the dream right now. I think he's gonna be sad when uh, the concrete stops. Not that we couldn't open another bag of concrete. So you only need like literally a like couple we need, handfuls. We need that much. You get pretty good this, Brent. <laughs> now that you're done. You've done 4,000 pounds of concrete. <laughs> yeah. That's nearly an expert. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Alrighty. I think that did it. I think we got it have just a tiny bit too much in here now so uh, yeah that was it it's the the bit that you drop on the ground that's important right, <laughs> right. you guys rock yep thank you guys concrete this was awesome you guys concrete okay not rock <laughs> this is so cool we worked a really good pace today yeah Hey, guess what? 
We're done with concrete. We're done with concrete. All right, we did it. I am so stoked. That was a push. Even with a, uh, <laughs> a Lowe's trip in the middle. So let's see, I'm gonna count bags right now. I ended up buying a second pallet of uh, concrete. And let's see, there's three right here. I think they said we have like four or five over here. So those three, and I have five on this pallet over here. So that's eight. That's pretty good. I had needed 48 by my count and it was like, you know what? We'll just get the whole pallet. A pallet has 56 bags. That was pretty close, pretty close actually. It's done. We got the concrete in, we got it all finished up. Tonight is actually a karate night. So everybody's rushing off to take their showers and get cleaned up and they need it. Those, uh, those boys earned their keep today. They'll definitely be getting some, some coffee in the morning if they want it. Kind of had a little bit of struggle getting our rhythm. But once we got our rhythm, man, we were rocking and rolling. There was almost no downtime. This actually went smoother than a few concrete pours I've been on. You know, 100 years ago, I used to do landscaping, and we did a lot of concrete work, a lot of hardscape. And there were some pours that were just, oh, it's terrible. And this actually went really, really smooth. I'm really proud of my boys. All right, that is gonna do it for us. This is one heck of a project we are tackling right now. I'm very excited. Concrete's done. We'll do some grading work to, you know, kind of level this out so people stop tripping uh, on dirt clods and rocks and roots and things like that that have been unearthed. But for the most part, that's the hard part. That's 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 your that's where you start. You always start with your foundation. So with all that done, that was quite a day. Brett, did you have fun with the uh, concrete? Mm -hmm. You look like you need a shower. I feel like I need a shower. Stay tuned. We will do another update video next week. Uh, hopefully we will be on to framing. I'm not gonna not gonna hold my breath, but all I have to do is set block and then buy wood. So yeah, I guess next week we're probably moving on to uh, at least the floor and decking. Super excited for that. So with all that said, thank you for coming along with us. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and check back, come back and follow this journey. This is gonna be a fun project. So, we'll catch you guys on the next one. You gotta say it, nobody's here. Bye.